Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to simplify powers of I. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. One thing that's unique about I, well not really unique, other things, other numbers really have this property, or things mathematics do, but the powers of I are cyclic, okay? Meaning they kind of repeat answers. So what do we mean by that? Well, i to the first power is just equal to <laughs> not 1. I, mean, I can write that as an i, but I like my i's being a little cursive i to the first power is just i. Well, then what's i squared? i squared, which we've learned before, is a negative 1. Well, what's i to the third power then? Okay, well, i to the third power is, well, that's i squared times i which is, well, i squared is a negative 1, and i is just i, so i to the third power is a negative i. Okay, so we have, so far, i, negative 1, negative i. What do you think i to the fourth power is going to be? Well, i to the fourth power is, well, i to the third power times i, and i to the third power we just found was negative 1, or negative i, sorry, I did it again. Negative i times i, okay, and well, negative i times i is negative i squared, which is negative negative 1, which is 1, right? Okay, well, what's i to the fifth power then? Is this cycle gonna, is it, are we gonna have a cycle here? I already kind of told you, but i to the fifth is i to the fourth, times i, and i to the fourth we just found to be 1. So we have 1 times i, which is i. And now our cycle continues. We have i to the fifth is just i, so then i to the sixth is going to be a negative 1, i to the seventh will be a negative i, and so on and so forth. It's going to keep that cycle going. So our cycle is like this. i, negative 1, negative i, 1, to keep on going every four powers okay so every four powers we will cycle through okay so if we want to evaluate this is a common example here if we want to evaluate what's i to the 35th power let's say what's i to the 35th power well we know i to the fourth is one right they tell us that i to the fourth is one so since i to the fourth power is equal to 1, we can try to see if we can simplify this as something, as many fourth powers in there from i to the 35th power. So i to the 35th power is the same thing as saying i to the 4 times 8 plus 3, right? 4 times 8 plus 3 is equal to 35. So then therefore, we can rewrite this to be, well, i to the 4 times 8 power times i to the third power by our rules with exponents. And then we can rewrite this to be really i to the fourth power all to the eighth power times i to the third power. Okay? And now it gets easier. Well, i to the fourth power we know is 1, so we have 1 here to the eighth power times i to the third power. And 1 to the eighth power is just 1, right? So then we have i to the third power that's left over, and i to the third power we found to be a negative i. And there we have it. Without much real work, we took something that may have looked complicated, i to the 35th power, and by knowing our rules, kind of adjusted it to solve it or find the answer much easier. And we really could pick a super large number and do the same exact thing with it. Okay? So, that's how we can really simplify powers of i. You do the same process, where the number is, and see tips, try to get it as, you know, uh, in terms of i to the fourth power in a sense, and that's the easiest one to deal with, all right? If you found this video helpful and you learned something about how to simplify the powers of i, please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, Thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.
Minute Math, Minute Math. When you need help, you use Minute Math. MinuteMathTutor.com.